you come near me and look the f out. Don't touch her. Don't walk over her. Get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Don't f touch me. Recently, in the New South Wales area, there was a social media event that caused a big outbreak in the social media. 방금 보신 영상의 그 일부인데요 딱 보기에도 체격 차이가 심한 두 남성이 대립하고 있다가 체격이 작은 남성이 때린 일격에 큰 몸집의 남성이 나가 떨어지는 모습입니다 호주의 작은 시골 마을에서 있었던 이 이웃 간의 작은 다툼 왜 이렇게 커졌는지 오늘 뉴스도 함께 보시면서 알아보시죠 Jack Stokes says he didn't want to resort to violence, but when a man refused to leave his property, he was left with no choice. The result was surprising, given that Jack's opponent was twice his age and his size. A petty neighbourhood dispute in a small community here in regional New South Wales has gone global after footage of 19-year-old Jack Stokes defending himself against a neighbour twice his age and size went viral online. You come near me and look the f*** out. Don't touch her. Don't walk over her. Get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Don't touch her. Don't walk over her. Get out of my yard. I was actually going to sleep. I had a big day and I was tired, stressed out because I just tested positive for COVID. And then I was just like, oh, I'm going to bed. And then I had to wake up to that and deal with that. It wasn't very fun. At just 19 years old, Jack Stokes is paying off a mortgage and making ends meet on his yeah, own at his El Along property after his dad died yeah, suddenly like last year. I'm definitely living on my own for the amount of time that I have. I have to know how to protect myself and the people that are around me. So when his 48-year-old neighbour, Mike Purchase, came onto his property a week ago, Jack didn't take it lying down. 19살의 잭은 1년 전 갑작스레 아버지가 돌아가신 후 아버지가 남긴 집 대출금을 갚고 있으며 스스로 생계를 꾸려나가고 있습니다. 잭은 혼자 살아가게 되면서 스스로를 지키는 법과 주변 사람들을 지키는 방법을 배워야 했다고 설명합니다. 영상 속에 나오는 몸집이 큰 남성이 마을에 거주하는 48세 이웃 남성으로 딱 보기에도 몸집이 잭보다 커 보이죠. 방송에서는 전혀 언급이 없는데 제가 딱 보니까 살짝 취해 보이는 게 술을 마신 것처럼 보이더라고요. The, my dog's barking at the fence just down here and he was in my neighbor's property which isn't his property um, trying to hit my dog through the fence. And then I come out and turn all lights on. I was like, "What is going on?" Like, and then I went down and I confronted him, and I was like, asking, "What is he doing?" And then that's where he started getting aggravated. Your old man owned this house. Yeah, he did. And I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. Well, well I, I don't him expect because, sympathy from no one. Because I could imagine how it would be. Well, then don't f you come over here threatening me and shit like that. Threatening You did. You got to hold me. Told me enough. And people just assume just because I'm young and I like to have no. fun on the weekends and stuff like that, I'm a f with. But I'm actually no, a nice person. Buddy. Unless someone gives me a reason not to be, I'm a nice person. You get over and spend some time on the fox, mate. You won't even make it over the fence. I'll do. Call the fox. I will. Can I? Call the fox. You please get out of my pocket. Jack says Mike's initial gripe was that the teenager had recently moved sandbags on a neighbour's property to try and stop it from flooding. Because they had water like coming above their back door to stop the water from going in and through the house. And his argument was that was after it stopped raining, why didn't you put them back? Because it put silt on his on his grass. The next complaint was the floodlight. With the floodlight, he did actually mention it a couple of weeks prior, and I haven't turned it on since for the pure fact of he said that to me. And then I turned it on because he was at the fence. I told you I would angle it down. I haven't even but turned it on. You didn't. I haven't even turned it on. It's on. Because you're at the fence. Now look. I turned it on because you're at the fence. Can you please get out of my property? Get out of my property. Can you please leave? No, I'm coming and knocking your door because your light shines through my leave? house. Can you please leave? So I said, don't come close to me. I've just tested positive to COVID. 
I don't really want to spare it, just like spread it around. But yeah, that didn't didn't phase him. Oh, there. Is that better? Is that better? Oh, it's good for you to ask. Oh, thank you. I don't want to shake your hand. You're going to f*** up. Do it. Make sure it's on video too. Yeah, I got it all. Got your face in it and everything. You come near me and look the f*** out. Don't touch her. Don't walk her back. Get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Don't f touch me. I told you I'd f you up. Now get out. Bring the cops. Mike. 라는 아저씨가 술이 참 많이 드신 것 같아요 늦은 밤에 남의 집에 와서 시비 거는 것도 문제고 영상을 보니 자기 몸도 못 가눌 정도로 취한 상태인 것 같은데 굳이 이웃집에 들어온 것도 그렇고 마이크가 제게 아버지 없이 혼자 산다고 하니 되게 편하게 생각하는 것 같은데 이거는 제가 봐도 좀 아닌 것 같아요 정말로 더군다나 영상을 찍는 사람이 여동생 같은데 여동생은 얼마나 무서웠을까요? 경찰에 신고한다고 하니 울타리를 넘어오고 계속 다가오는데 다른 사람 집에 무단으로 들어와 놓고 조명이 어떻다 모델, 모래주머니가 어떻다 등 이상한 이야기를 늘어놓는 것도 아 진짜 한심하네요 근데 한편으로는 혹시라도 내가 살면서 호주에서 이런 사람 만나게 될까 봐 되게 아 되게 걱정되는데요 What happened after that? After that he was um, sitting on the ground I just sat there with him I got my first aid kit and was like wiping the blood off his face and then he woke up like come back to and he went to stand up and I was like just sit down until the ambulance get here. Jack uploaded footage of the incident to social media and it's since gone viral. I was not expecting to see how when it's got like over 400,000 views now and I was just like wow. <laughs> what do you make of the response you've had online? A lot of people these days, they will judge a book by its cover and a lot of people had said to me like they thought that I was going to end up hurt. Some little 19 year old kid and then next minute the bigger guy's on the ground. <laughs> that was the main response, I was very shocked and surprised. I've actually gotten messages from people in New Zealand, Switzerland, Canada, um, Miami, um, just everywhere all over the world. It obviously escalated, do you regret punching him? No, I don't regret punching him at all. I think it could have went a lot better way if he didn't come in the yard. I spoke to Mike over the phone and he told me he's been staying away since the neighbourhood dispute escalated. He says he's feeling remorseful and he wants to apologise to Jack for how he behaved. 인터넷에서 화제가 된 이유는 체격 차이가 심하게 나는데 일격에 상대를 쓰러뜨렸기 때문인 것 같습니다. 성경 속에 나오는 다윗과 골리앗이 떠오르기도 하네요. 방송국을 통해 인터뷰한 마이크 씨가 자기가 한 일을 후회하고 제게 사과하고 싶다고 한 대목이 눈길을 끌었는데요. 네, 이건 누가 봐도 사과해야 할것 같네요. 사과하고 이웃 주민들끼리 잘 지냈으면 합니다. 저도 호주에 온 뒤로 이상한 사람들을 몇번 만나긴 했는데 이번 방송에 나온 분도 레전드네요. 나중에 호주에서 만난 이상한 사람들을 주제로 영상을 한번 만들어 봐야 될것 같습니다. 혹시 호주에 계신 여러분들은 어떤 이상한 사람들을 만나보셨나요? 댓글로 남겨주시면 다음에 영상 제작 시에 참고해 보도록 하겠습니다. 오늘 영상도 도움이 되셨다면 구독과 좋아요 그리고 알림 설정 부탁드리겠습니다.